Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how to create a simple sine and cosine curve for Python using Jupyter Notebook. So this is my working folder. What I'm required to do is I'll copy the path and I'll open my CMD so that I can open the Jupyter Notebook. Yes, let me maximize the screen. Then I'll browse to the particular path. There you are. Then I'll call my command for opening the Jupyter Notebook. Yes, there you are. So it opens. So I'll open, I'll create a new one, a new using Python 3. And I'll rename this will be sign and cosine curve. Curves. Okay. There you are. So I'll start straight by creating a sign curve first. Plot lib dot pi plot as plt. And I'll put the numpy, numpy as np. There you are. And I'll do, I'll do the line spacing, the spacing of the of the x axis line space. I'll, I'll keep it 0, 10 to 20, for instance. I mean the spacing between for the x axis. Then I'll plot the sine curve now. Plot, plot, np numpy dot sine x because I've already assigned it here already. Then I'll do the show. I'll just plot so that you can see how it looks like. Then run. There you are. So this is a simple sign curve. So we can do some fine tunings. For instance, I can change, I can put some coloring here. Let us keep it red. Color red. There you are. And I can do the line width. Line width. Just increase it to, for instance, 2. Now let's run. There you are. Line width. Then let us add some adding axis labels. There you are. So I'll do the plot dot x label. Then let us call for x time and for y. I'll put it y. Let us call it amplitude. Amplitude. Yes, now run it here. You have your time and amplitude. So let us now put a title here. Adding title, let me comment. Adding title. So it will be plt dot sub. And let's start with this one title. Uh, it is called sign. Sign curve. There you are. This is it. So let us now. Try to put a cosine curve so that you can see how they relate to each other okay so then i'll add it here so from i'll copy the same and on a type it i'll just put the same but what you require is just to change here to cosine cos x so then that means when i leave red color it will be red color so let us change to for instance color green then the line should be the same so when i run now you see i have the sine curve and cosine curve but it's okay if a user or I mean your, your client as well, which is sine curve or cosine, cosine curve because it's not easy to identify from the final output. So let us do some labeling here. So what we're required to do is for instance, let us put some, so I can put our legend. So let us add some label. Label is equal to, this one should be, we'll call it sine curve. Yeah. And the same applies for the, the one in green which is the cosine curve, obviously cos starts from this side, the positive cosine curve. So let us put it this way and this let us change here to cosine. Yeah, there you are. And I run it here, you cannot see it first, so you need to add as a legend. So let us comment here, adding legend. So how do you add legend? It's easy, plt dot legend. There you are. So when I do a run, you see, I have sine and cosine curve. Keep it here. Yeah. So the sine is in red, the cosine is in green. Something like that. So we are done. So you can let us put some, let us do some adding grids, adding grids line, grid lines, so that you can have a better visual. Let me comment this. This one here. Oh, wow. Simple like that. So PLT dot grid just like that so when i run here i'll be having my grids now 
perfect like that so this is easy so now i'm done sign and cosine curve so you can always right click and save image as so let us save it in desktop here sign and cosine curve so i'll save it here sign and cosine curve so you see there you are so you can choose the format jpeg png okay so it is downloaded already so that means when i open to my desktop here opening up my sign cosine curve there you are i have it just like that you can zoom it so i 0 10 20 there you are amplitude time and sine curve anyway i can change it later you can change it so sine and cosine curve which is easier that means you need only to change here sine and cosine curve so when i run it here it's changed already then save images i replace this save yes there you are open it there you are sine and cosine curve good to go you're done so this is how to to use python actually using jupyter notebook to create a simple sine and cosine curve so thank you for listening please subscribe because i'll be dropping more videos on data science also and machine learning so thank you for your time hope you have